For the first time, the Nigeria Police Force, under the leadership of IGP Kayode Betoko on Thursday, 23rd December 2023, held its Christmas carols and night of nine lessons at the International Conference Center Abuja. <laughs> federal government functionaries, the chief of defense, army, navy, air staff, officers of the Nigeria police force and the clergy raised their voices, chanting various inspiring Christmas choruses and dancing joyously to electrify the magnificent hall. It was a beautiful symbol of unity and hope, reminding us that even in the face of challenges, the Nigeria Police Force stands committed to serving and protecting all Nigerians. The last week to Christmas was packed full of activities for the Inspector General of Police, Kyle Dirk Betuku, who wasn't letting his guard down for the holidays. He met with the top echelon of the Nigerian Police Force Managers, Commissioners of Police and above, including Tactical Mobile Commanders. He issued a clear directive that they ensure a secure, crime-free and joyful festive season for everyone. Let's dive into the final Police Commissioners Conference of 2023. And the weight of accomplishment and challenge hangs in the air. We will also explore the IGP strategic directives and the state of security in Nigeria as we approach the festive season. The conference opens with a familiar voice of Force Public Relations Officer, FPRO Olumiwa Adejobi, his words echo the importance of self-evaluation and improvement, reminding us that the measure of any law enforcement agency is not by the number of arrests made, but by the prevention of crime. We want to come behind of the IGP welcome you to this special IGP's conference with strategic managers. And of course, a fourth part of IGP's end of the media briefing here today at the Good Luck, the Billy Jonathan Peacekeeping Hall, first quarters Garaki. As a regular practice in the police, we always look back to appraise and evaluate our strategies in making sure we take privacy when it comes to the issue of internal security of this country. The one I think with me that is not your place a very long time has been taking the ball. But the hard in making sure that nice how available legitimate means of having robust policing, intelligent led policing, and of course having modern policing ideas to complement our whole localized idea in making sure Nigeria is safe for all our soldiers. As the world is safe, that coming together is the beginning, meeting together is progress and working together is achievement. The measure of the sources of any law enforcement agency is not the number of arrests for the prevention of crime. So once again, on behalf of the surgeon of police, you are welcome to this special IDP's conference, which I think an IGP will not start to be the last for this year 2023. And of course, we are looking forward in that new year. Very senior officers, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, I want to respectfully invite the 22nd, the Indigenous Secretary General of Police of the Federal Republic of This sets the stage for a day of intense discussion focused on refining strategies and ensuring the safety of Nigerian citizens. The 
Deputy Inspectors General of Police, members of the Force Management Team that are present, Senior Officers, members of the Nigeria Press. I'm highly delighted to welcome you all to this conference, which is undoubtedly crucial to rounding off the year 2023. Today, we are to deliberate on major security issues explain some of the challenges we experienced, most especially in the last few months, and proffering solutions with a view to fulfilling our constitutional obligations of protecting lives and properties and preservation of law and order. In addition, this conference will avail us the opportunity to, of briefing the media on certain developments and the efforts of the Nigerian Police Force so far in tackling major crimes within the last 10 weeks. Firstly, let me sincerely commend officers and men of the force and other security operatives at all levels for the journey so far in the year 2023. We have done so much towards maintaining law and order and combating criminal activities including kidnapping, armed robbery, banditry, insurgency, cybercrime, etc. to a level that is commendable under the circumstances we operate. I am delighted that our efforts in confronting the security challenges in the country are noticeable, with drastic reduction in crime recently witnessed in many parts of the country. I really commend you for your commitment, resilience, and doggedness in this regard. These accolades and praises, though very well deserved, are not meant to flatter you, but a recognition of your performances premised on the available achievements and empirical figures from various commands and formations across the country. His words carry the weight of responsibility, reminding us that the security of millions rests on the shoulders of these dedicated individuals. But this conference is not just about plans. It's also a time to celebrate successes. The IGP highlights significant victories kidnappers apprehended, stolen firearms recovered, and a noticeable reduction in crime across various categories. I am pleased to inform you that within the last 10, 10 weeks, the force recorded significant success in reducing crime rates across the country. This was attained through a combination of efforts involving intelligence-led operations, community engagements, and proactive policing. Within this period, our men were able to rescue a total number of 134 kidnapped victims, arrest 375 suspected kidnappers, as well as 578 armed robbery suspects in various operations across the country. A total of 431 suspects were arrested for rape and other sexual related offenses. 724 suspects arrested for murder <coughs> to homicide cases, while 2,343 were apprehended for other criminal offenses, out of which 433 were suspected courtists. The force was able to recover 419 firearms of various types and a total of 4,000 235 different calibers of ammunition. Aside these figures, the force recorded many breakthroughs in the investigation of some major crimes within the period. You will recall the deadly Otrubo Bank robbery of 28 October 2023, during which the Divisional Police Officer Otrubo Division and many other innocent Nigerians lost their lives and huge sums of money carted away from the three commercial banks that fell victim to the bank robbery. The unrelenting efforts of our men acting on both human and technically generated intelligence paid off. The dear devil arm robbers were traced to their hideouts where two of them were neutralized while four were arrested and accordingly in custody assisting police investigators to track down others at large. A total number of nine AK-47 rifles and 4,000 
and 13 rounds of 7.62 mm light ammunition were also recovered. Also, on the 14th and 15th December 2023, during a covert rescue operation carried out in Emohua, local government area of River State, and Fast Carry, local government area of Casina State, respectively, 23 kidnapped victims, including kidnapped student Susima, Casina State, were rescued on board, while two notorious bandits fell to the superior firepower of police operatives after a fierce control. Furthermore, on related efforts by operatives of the FCT command on the 4th and 5th December 2023 led to the rescue of six kidnapped victims at Kusape Kwaku areas, where three notorious kidnappers terrorizing the area were overpowered during the operation. In other operations, a kidnap and cattle rustling syndicate in Casino State was posted on 3rd December 2023, where suspected bandits were arrested in their criminal hideouts in Tamaki Village, Kafo, LGA of Casino State, and one kidnap victim in their custody was released on hold, while 203 lost cattle were recovered from the criminal elements. Furthermore, three suspects who were members of a gun running and armed robbery syndicate terrorizing the Abuja Casino and Nasserah Axis, supplying arms to bandits and other criminal elements were arrested. One AK-49 rifle, five magazines, 1,000 rounds of various calibers of ammunition were recovered from the suspects. On 11th December 2023, Police operatives successfully rescued in Kwara village, Kadako Nasarawa State, eight Federal University Lafayette students were kidnapped on 7th of December 2023 in the state. The students were safely reunited with their families. In Anambra State, Police operatives intercepted the consignment of illicit arms intended for distribution to IPOP ECN camps in various locations within the Southeast Jail Political Zone, arrested a gun runner at Abuja Park, Onesha, in possession of 22 semi automatic pump action guns and 625 live cartridges. Furthermore, the anti kidnapping unit of the Imo State Police Command raided an IPOP ECN camp in Abo Mbase during which one Ishaku Prince Jerry, a notorious suspect who had led several attacks on police facilities within the state, was neutralized, while 17 firearms, 260 rounds of life ammunition, and three Toyota Venza cars were recovered from the IPO hideout. Let our accomplishments over the past 10 weeks serve as a motivation for even greater successes in the future. Let me also remind you that the present police administration under my leadership will not tolerate acts of indiscipline and unprofessional conduct capable of protecting the Nigerian police force negatively. We must commit ourselves to discipline and projection of the core value of decent and modern policing amongst officers and men of the force. This is sacrosanct and no one should attempt to compromise it. These wins are a testament to the tireless efforts of the Nigerian police force, yet challenges remain. The IGP warns against complacency, underscoring the need for heightened vigilance and proactive policing during the festive season. Let us also recognize that our work is far from being over. The unitized season presents new challenges and responsibilities and it is our duty to ensure that citizens celebrate in an atmosphere of peace and security. This period traditionally comes with upsurge in activities in terms of social and religious gatherings as well as movements across the Federation. It is thus imperative that we continue to proactively address potential security challenges. We should therefore increase the intensity of our anti-crime patrol and in place other crime fighting strategies, some of which we will discuss here today, to safeguard 
the communities where we function. To ensure a peaceful holiday period, the IGP announced the deployment of additional personnel to strategic locations nationwide, highways, religious centers, markets, and recreational sports will receive increased presence, offering protection and security. This comprehensive security plan reflects the commitment of the police force to a crime-free festive season. The IGP highlights the importance of public cooperation, urging citizens to remain vigilant and report suspicious activity. I call on all Nigerians to remain law-abiding and be security conscious during this festive period. We should embrace peaceful coexistence and shun all forms of violence. Youths are enjoyed to stay away from drugs, force cars to be moderate in their dealings and accord respect to one another as well as to all security operatives deployed across the country. Citizens and everyone doing business in Nigeria are enjoyed to volunteer information to the police. Such information given will be treated with utmost confidentiality. I assure you all of our commitment to a new policing vision anchored on discipline and professional competence, guided by the rule of law, driven by service and passion for excellence, to the admiration of Nigerian citizens in aid of economic prosperity and social political development of our beloved country. Regular training, vigilant supervision, unwavering professionalism, these are the pillars upon which a robust police force stands. The IGP's words echo through the hall, a call to action for the commanders gathered before him. He speaks of a vision, a force empowered by knowledge and guided by ethics, where commanders lead with strength and integrity. Corruption and extortion are not tolerated, for they erode the very foundation of public trust. From next year, 2024 January, we are putting together a training program, a comprehensive training program for the headquarters here, which will be implemented at the same level. The program, the training program, will guarantee that every police officer will attend a training for at least one week in a year. A situation where after passing out from police college or police academy, there is no any formal training again being organized for officers. As to stop, from 2024, training becomes compulsory for every police officer and officers will attend at least one week. And these trainings are going to be local. So you as commanders, you are going to organize the training for the officers and men. Discipline helps the police the day officers stop enforcing discipline. The day we start correcting our subordinates officers, that is when discipline helps us. And we have the duty to bring it back. And we must bring back discipline to the police. We can't achieve anything. With so much indiscipline in the system, nothing is going to work. The police is a discipline organization, and the backdrop of the force is discipline. That's what all of you are taught during your, your, your uh, basic training program coming into the force. But it's not just about directives, we see a softer side. A moment of shared respect, the IGP sits with the police veterans, their faces etched with the stories of a lifetime in service. He acknowledges their wisdom, a guiding light for the future, recognizing the bridge their stories build between past and present. Community-oriented policing, he says, a reminder that proper security flourishes when law enforcers and citizens stand together.
from what we have now. Maybe could this organization have our own pension uh, board, pension that we will control. So and all these options are open, but the, 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 as I do, I don't know for how long I will be here in Italy, but for the period that I'm going to be here, I am committed to an improved pension arrangement. From the heart of the IGP's conference, Crime Fighters has brought you a story of dedication, achievement, and the ongoing quest for a safer Nigeria. Remember, security is a shared responsibility. Let us all play our part in building a peaceful and prosperous nation.